We had to convince the world that there was a better way. We knew that people are mobile. They want to move around while they communicate. And so, to convince the world, we created this phone. I, I hope I didn't hear any laughing among that cheering. <laughs> yes, this phone is a little large, uh, and it weighed uh, two and a half pounds. The, uh, the battery life was 20 minutes. <laughs> That's not a problem. You couldn't hold it up for 20 minutes. <laughs> so you would think that having created this beautiful instrument, that the world would open their arms. Well, if you're a maverick, you know that that's not the case. Uh, and we were told by the uh, market researchers that there is perhaps a market for two million phones in the United States. And so it took us some 20 years before we got into the millions and 30 years before we got into the billions. But today, as Sean pointed out to us, there are over five billion cell phones in the world. So we have one other thing that you, the art intelligentsia, and we engineers have in common, uh, and that is passion. How can you stand by for 20, 30, going on 40 years, holding on to an idea, knowing that you're right, knowing that somehow the world someday is gonna adopt your ideas? Thank you very much. I'm truly honored by the, uh, the award that I'm getting here at CineQuest, and primarily because uh, it is creativity that is important. Everybody can be creative, and that's one of the themes of CineQuest. It's not only the films, it is the fact that creativity, when it's executed, makes the world better. The cell phone has changed uh, all of our lives, and, and it was truly a revolution. But we are on the cusp of three more revolutions, and I'm just going to take a minute to tell you what they are. Number one, healthcare. Got a broken healthcare system, we all know that. We have a system we can't afford, we have a system that tries to cure disease instead of preventing disease. And why, why will the cell phone fix this? What if you could do a physical examination every minute? Then when something started to go wrong in your body, you could nip it in the bud, stop it, before it became a disease. We are developing sensors now where you can be connected, and when your immune system starts failing, let's head it off, stop the disease. Someday, there will be no diseases. That's revolutionary. What about... <laughs> what about uh, education? What's the problem with uh, education uh, today? We tend to put all of our students in boxes. And here are these kids sitting there in a classroom, and they're all skilled at using these tools. They all knew they have iPads and, and uh, cell phones. They have access to all the knowledge in the world, and they've got a lecturer talking to them who uh, uh, tells them stuff they already know. Why don't we provide them with tools to use that knowledge? If they're younger kids, provide them with games. They, they are superb at playing games. I can't play these games that these kids do. Let's make them educational. And we're gonna find out that we can create a smarter generation. And I, th I really believe that. Our children are already smarter than we are, and they're getting smarter and their, ch their children are gonna be still smarter. But we have to get them to use these tools to extend their brains with uh, digital memory and access to all the world's knowledge. Uh, that is happening and that's gonna be uh, revolutionary. And the final one, I mean, now we've got a bunch of healthy, educated people. What are they gonna do to solve the world's problems? Well, what's the biggest problem in the world today? It's the difference between the haves and the have nots. You, you've all seen that you know, in the world. And all these uprisings that are happening, they have nothing to do with religion, they've got nothing to do with politics. What they have to do is everybody now has access to knowledge about what everybody else has, and they want in on it.
we have to get more productive. And the way we are, are going to become more productive is just the kind of thing that's happening with Cinequest now. It is new ways of smart people collaborating. Things don't get done by individuals, they get done by people with a mission who work together in creative ways and do things better. And that is going to happen with all these smart, healthy people that we talked about, and we are going to have a much better world in the future.